Hello friends and welcome back. As promised in this video, we're going to be looking at how to use the local debug console of Greengrass version 2 in order to develop applications more quickly. To start, let's get more comfortable and enable dark mode. With that done, let's take a look. As you can see, I have an example hello world component, which looks something like this. In this component, which you can see is currently in the running state, it has some access control configuration, and it has a very simple lifecycle, which is simply running hello world.py. Let's see what that is. In hello world.py, I'm using our IPC client version 2, or Python. And what we're doing is here, we are subscribing to the topic test slash receive in IoT core. This is the same code that I had in the first video, except that the difference is that this is now using our version 2 IPC client. When a message is received, the onStream event handler will be called, and it's going to print that it received a message on some topic, and that now it is forwarding the message to a different topic. And then we can see that we are calling this send method, and what this send method does is use publish to IoT core. So the first thing I'll do is to click reinstall on this component because I actually made a change before I started the video. So let's use reinstall to load the new code and configuration and see what happens. I click reinstall and uh-oh, now we're broken. Let's have a look at the log and see what went wrong. If I now open up our log file, then I can see that we were connecting to IPC, which is great. Then we said we're subscribing, but subscribing failed. And there's a stack trace here. And the error is unauthorized error. So what are we doing here? We saw that we were subscribing. We attempted to call subscribe to IoT Core, but this failed. So why did that fail? Looking at our configuration, I've only currently allowed publish to IoT Core, and we were just trying to subscribe. So clearly, that's not going to work. And right now, our code is in the state where it's currently broken, which means that this component will no longer restart. It needs to have uh, a deployment or a code change to be fixed. So let's see how we can address this using the local debug console. First, I will address the access control by adding the correct policy it needs, which is to subscribe to IoT Core. So I'll just type that in, subscribe to IoT Core, and now I'll save that configuration. With the configuration changed, we're still in the broken state. This component did not run again. So let's fix that. To fix it, click the Reinstall button. And now that it's reinstalled, we can see it's running. It's still running, so it hasn't died, which means that our subscribe must have worked. Let's double check that in the code and in the log. Jumping down to the end of the log, we can see that we were connecting, subscribing, and we successfully subscribed. So this is all as expected. Now let's check to see that the code is doing what we expect it to do, which is to republish data onto a different topic. And to do that, we're going to use the messaging test client in the local debug console. Now I will go ahead and subscribe to IoT Core on test slash anything. Now when I publish to IoT Core on test slash receive, which is what I have in the code, I say, hi, this is a test, and publish. Then I see that we received it on test slash receive, which is what we expected. We also see it on test, test slash send. So this is excellent. This is exactly what, what we expected to see. In the log, we can see that we received a message and it was forwarded as expected. So now let's assume I want to debug something going wrong in my script. What's an easy way to do that? One solution is to run it locally. 
But if you've used Greengrass before, you'll know that you cannot simply execute code outside of Greengrass and expect it to work the same way. This is for security reasons, in that Greengrass components are provided a security token when they start up. So how can we use the local debug console to help us out? What I'll do is to add code at the beginning of our script to print out that security token, and then I'll use it when running the script manually on the command line. Let's see what that looks like. I've added the command env, which will simply print out all the environment variables before running the Python code. So I'll go ahead and save this. And as soon as I save it, the component is going to restart because we actually changed the run lifecycle. And when you change the run life cycle, the command will automatically be restarted and run with the new code. Looking at the log, we can now see that it did indeed print out all the environment variables. The ones that we're interested in are SVC UID. I'll go ahead and copy and paste that just somewhere so I have it. The other environment variable we're interested in is the domain socket path. So I'll copy that as well. And I'll remove that extra new line. Now that we have these two, let's run this command and show that it's working. At first, I'm going to switch back to our local debug console and I will stop this component so that Greengrass isn't executing it anymore. Now we're only going to run it by ourselves. So now with these two values, I'll make sure that they're on all on one line and I will take that, paste it into my terminal and then put the command I want to run. It's Python 3-u packages and my script is in uh, artifacts unarchived um, example hello world here we go hello world.py let's go ahead and execute that and we can see yep it was able to connect and subscribe successfully and let's double check that it's still operating correctly by checking that yes we are able to send and receive let's go ahead and show this clearly publish and it was sent out and going back to the logs again, you can see that it did receive a message and it was forwarded. Now I'm able to use all of my regular Python debugging tools. The only thing I needed to do was to figure out what the value of these two environment variables was. The SVC UID and the Greengrass Nucleus Domain Socket for the component. This path will not typically change. However, the SVC UID will change for each component as well as any time you restart Greengrass itself. Now, hopefully with these techniques, you are better equipped to more quickly develop applications, test and debug them using the local debug console and Greengrass version 2.